All right, we're going to be talking about um, wands. Um, let me flip the page. There we go. So this is my wand. Um, as you can see, it has very fire-like elements to it. Uh, my anthem, I usually have it as air because it's somewhat... Uh, someone that deals with air elements. I know that the whole controversy about wands and 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 anthemes are the opposite. Some of them are, some anthemes are considered fire like symbols, some anthemes are considered air symbols, some wands are you know, vice versa. I believe the wand is more of a fire element because it's very direct. And it's also very deals with energy just like fire and fire has a direction it goes even though it goes wildfire crazy with everything but it still has a direction it still goes somewhere unlike air air is changeable it goes in different forms in different lengths so as you see I tied um, some yellow strings let me kind of fix it um, I also tied some red ribbons, some feathers, even though that's an Arab thing, I just tied feathers to it to kind of relate to um, somewhat the Native Americans and whatnot. And what I had on here, I hot glued gemstones. And uh, I hot glued uh, citrine around it, around it, I was just citrine, and I had a jasper on top. And um, during the ritual, of last year, um, I cast a spell, and uh, I was um, I was doing something protectiveness. I remembered it, and I was waving around, manipulating the energies around me to try to horn in to my um, to myself, basically, to harness some some protective energies. And I, during the waving. And I was in a pre-trance. I hid it on my altar. And it just goes, Shh. All those rocks shattered everywhere. And I thought, maybe I should not glue them back. Maybe I should just have it just bare. And it's a willow tree. It's from a willow tree. It's a willow stick. And I swear to God, I had this for almost like oh, nine years. And I don't even look at any other wands. Um, willow tree is very sacred to my goddess Hecate and I thought maybe you know I should have a willow tree and I should have it so I cut it on August 13th um, I think it was 98 is when I cut it off I think I did and um, I thought you know August 13th being the day of Hecate that I should cut it but anyways I tied ribbons to represent flames. I have black horse tail. That's what it's called, I guess, in certain craft shops. Um, but yeah, it's made out of willow. You can have any wand. Wands are very impractical tools. You can make anything into a wand just by a simple stick to a simple uh, rod to a simple to a simple. What do you want to call it? Oh, anything, anything. I've came across. A lot. I came across uh, a wax rope, a wax rope as a wand, and it was stiff. The rope was stiff because the person poured wax on it and crafted it, molded it, and tie a certain band on the bottom part so the hand doesn't melt the wax. Very funny, like very inexpensive, cheap, like, and uh, but I thought it was so hilarious coming across that. But yeah. I'm going to read again from Dorothy Morrison, The Craft, The Witch's Book of Shadows. It's one of my first books I read, in the w and, and I thought um, maybe I should just, you know, keep it. So I just thought, read a little bit. It says, folks, folks, the world over associates witches with magic wands. Perhaps it's because... Let me hold it up. Perhaps because nearly every childhood story written about witches concerning them to the tool, uh, I mean, connecting them with the tool. 
That being the case, the mind's eye views not only the symbol of magical power and essence, but the instrument necessary to manifest any number of supernatural phenomena in the physical realm. That is just right there again. Magic wand. It's another form of creation, but it's 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 somewhat different. It's where you direct the creation at and whatnot. So this is like the general my general wand. It's my the only one I own, and I don't want to look at another one. I don't care for any other wands. I love this wand. I'm in love with it. It's so uh, it's perfect handle, perfect. It's still sturdy and strong. I don't know how it survived all the years of me going crazy with it. But yeah. So I thought I'd show you my wand. The next tool will be my um, chalice or cup, in other words. So yeah. 